Lawrence Butler is with us here on A's Cast Live. You know, they're telling us, they're like, yeah, pitchers are going to be in meetings. What do you think about Lawrence Butler? Like, hell yes, bring up Lawrence Butler. Always. How are you? Chris on the A's Cast. How are we doing? I- I'm doing well. How about yourself? I'm doing amazing. I'm doing amazing. So what has changed since the last time we have talked to you? You've gotten way more at-bats, way more games. What's different? Uh, you know, just, just the grind of being in the big leagues, you know, you go out there facing the best of the best every day, no breaks, you know, every pitcher's here for a reason, every position player is here for a reason. So, you know, just, just getting the mental, um, prepared, you know, to go out there and just compete every day. Have you noticed from the time you've shown up to where you are now, how different they attack you? Yeah. Yeah. They, they, they were kind of going. They were kind of going, like, away at first, start hitting them away. Then they go in, and then I start hitting them in, and then they go away. So they're, they're basically just – you know, they're just trying to find a hole in the swing every every time I step to the plate. So, you know, but it's my job to be a pro and find out what the adjustment is and make that adjustment so I can be me. Yeah, we were just talking with David Feldman, who does a lot of television. He's also our A's historian. And he was, he was saying, you know, ask Law about how – Hard it is to square up big league pitchers. Like yeah. it's one thing to survive, but what? How hard is it to really get that great contact and drive the ball off these guys who are trying to go after your weaknesses? Yeah, I mean it, it's not an easy task. Like I mean I don't know if you guys seen the Deion Sanders interview, but he said hitting the baseball is yeah. the hardest thing to do. So I mean, especially when you got guys throwing ninety six with crazy movement, you know balls going different ways changing up speeds, playing with different pitches. So, you know, it's, it's not easy, but, I mean, I'm here for a reason, so I believe I can do it. How's it going for you defensively? I'm having a lot of fun on defense. You know, I'm working with um, with um, Aldo, Bushy, you know, asking cops things, you know, just trying to get better every day. You know, I'm getting more comfortable out there in center. So, I mean, I want to be the big league center fielder every day next year for the A's, so I'm just constantly working. And we want you to be the big league center fielder for the A's. <laughs> we talk about it on this show. I talk about it on the postgame show, taking the phone calls with the fans. Uh, everybody is very excited about you, especially in center field. I got to tell you, yesterday coming off the field, I've gotten to know Ryan Noda. Uh, it's going to be announced here. I, I'm not trying to break news because Mark Kotze told us earlier he got the Catfish Hunter Award, yes, he did. and that's a big deal for a rookie to be a Rule 5 guy to get that. But I said to Noda, I said, you know, I want you guys to get tired of losing. I want you guys to get tired of what's been happening. I want you to get angry about it so it doesn't happen next year. And I want you guys to understand that this clubhouse is now your clubhouse. When we're talking about you, Geloff, Noda, are you getting that sense this is becoming your franchise. Yeah. Shout out to Noda. He was the only rookie to ever win that award, mm-hmm. too. So shout out to him. And I mean, yeah, me, me Noda, so, um, and Zach talk about that all day, every day. We're in the clubhouse. We're, we're chopping it up with Brownie and Kemp and just like, you know, we're tired of it. You know, we're, we're losing. I mean, everybody sees we're losing. It's kind of embarrassing. It's not a great feeling. Like, we don't go in the clubhouse after a loss and just joke around. We're, we're pissed. So, I mean, we're, we're coming next year with a different mindset, a different attitude. You know, like we're going to make teams just see us differently. We're not the same team we were last year or this year. Like we're we're coming back next year with, with some vengeance. So I'm, I'm really excited for next year. I'm really excited. This question really is for you at the end of the season, but you guys are going to be on the road, so we're not going to be able to talk to you. So just Anaheim, it's done. You're leaving from L.A. You're probably going back to Atlanta. Uh, you're going back to Georgia. What do you think are the number one things you've got to work on so you can be that number one guy in center field next year? Um, you know, I got a great, great mentor and great group of guys around me training. So I'm going to go back. Marquise, Marquise Grissom. Grissom. Shout out to Marquise. Great player. So I'm going to go there and just work with him, you know, just ask, ask some of the um, guys in the um, weight room about the, you know, metrics and how can I get better jumps, how can I get better routes. So, you know, always trying to get my arms stronger, you know. So I'm really just going off season, really work hard and, you know, just really hone in on, on the things, what it, like it really takes to be a gold glove big leaguer every day. I don't want to just be a big leaguer and center every day. I want to be a gold glove big leaguer and center every day. So that's what I'm really locked in and off season about. You want to be the best. I want to be the greatest. The that's greatest. what I'm talking about. Now, when we start talking about how you get better, up here, have you been able to use video more? Is there anything that they've been able to give you data-wise, video-wise to help you? What have you learned since you've been up here with technology? 
Um, see, so TK has really been teaching me how to use them iPads. They're very difficult. I know I'm young and I should know how to use them, but it's a lot of buttons. But, I mean, TK always helps me. If it's a play, like, I feel like I could have done something on If I, like, I could have got a better jump, I could have dove or, like, threw it to a different base. He's always the first one on the bench, pulled the play up. You know, we're going through it together. So, next time I have that play, even during the game, I can, you know, handle the situation better. So, I mean, the video, the iPad is always useful. You know, always can see what you're doing on the field, like, in live time. So, I like it a lot. What is the best part for you? being in the big leagues what's the best part about being here other than being on ace cast live <laughs> ace cast is number one but i have to say second is just you know just just playing against guys and playing in in big league stadiums that you dream of as a little kid like we're playing against miguel cabrera right now like yeah. that's a hall of famer three thousand hits i mean what a career like that's a, like when i'm looking at him in the box i'm like dang like that's that's who I want to be in 20 years or something like that so kind of crazy yeah, right you gotta like, play a long time exactly. well that's the thing it's like for you guys that come up and you played certain players on video games and you've watched them for years and all of a sudden I'm playing against exactly. this guy. Like I'm like, I remember I, um, we we're in Seattle and like, I always watch Goldsmith play with him on the game. I mean, not Seattle, St. Louis. And I always watch Goldsmith play on the game. And he's just like, Hey bro, I like your swing. You know, that, that means something to me. Cause yeah. like, I mean, that's a guy I've watched growing up. You know, he's pretty cool. And for him to say that, that, that means a lot. I remember being in Japan and getting in the elevator with Ken Griffey Jr. Yeah. And I was like, <laughs> It's Ken Griffey Jr. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> right? you, kind of, you kind of freeze for a little minute. You're like, wow. And I, like. and I wanted to say, dude, I was just by your statue <laughs> out front of Safeco or T-Mobile. It's Ken Griffey Jr. Yeah, nah. Those, those moments are those moments are some, some cool, surreal moments to have. You know, just being in the big leagues and, you know, just being around the type of guys we're around. You know, learning the knowledge they, they've learned over their years and just passing it down to us so, like, in the future we can do the same for the next generation. So that's pretty cool. All right, I've talked to Note about this. I've talked to Alan about this. I've talked to Geloff about this. We'll end on this. We want to talk to you during the offseason. We want to know what's going on. In years past, players went away. We'd see it some type of fan fest or spring training. I don't know if it's November, December, January. We want to just check in at some point. We're, we're going to call you and just check in to see how you're for doing. Sure, How's everything sure. going? For sure, I love that. I always love coming on Ace Cast with you, Chris. You know, it's amazing, um, which I got going on around here. So I, I love to answer the phone for you guys. Well, I'll tell you what, we view you as one of the pillars of what we're going to build this foundation on. Yes, sir. And so yes, sir. Uh, thank you for everything that you've done so far for us. Have a great off season, and uh, good luck. Train, because yeah. as you said, you want to be the best. We got a feeling, and we believe in you, and can't wait. really can't wait for next year. You guys yeah. are going to be a – Far better team I'm next year. You, been, that's all we talk about, isn't it? Like, we're just trying to finish this year strong, and we're coming back different next year. We're coming back different. Love to hear it. We got more coming up next right here on A's Cast Live.